Hello everybody, this is Mohammed Zaman, uh, National Cloud Technologies Association as part of our NGIT Cloud Master program. I'm going to show you today how to access Amazon images or any image in, in that case, any, in any case, uh, which is in the cloud access through a key pair which we have gone through the class uh, 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 the lab in the class and also the theory in the class and I'll, I'll actually show you how to do it now what we're going to do the steps we are going to build our own key i've shown you how to do it using amazon's key but at this moment i'm going to show you how to uh, get it by building our own key using putty and putty gen um, so first of all, I'm going to go to PuttyGen, and you should have it downloaded. If you don't have it, you just go from the web and download Putty Key Generator called PuttyGen. I'm going to say Generate, and now you have to uh, start moving the mouse. So if you move the mouse, you'll see uh, the key gets generated. You know, the green bar is progressing. If you don't do it, then you're going to see it stop. So you have to keep moving the key, uh, moving the mouse, and every time you're moving the mouse, it, the key is getting generated, you know, and because it's random, so nobody knows what that is, and so I'm just generating the key. Fantastic. I just generated a key. So I'm going to save a public key, which I have to upload to Amazon, okay? So I'm going to call these things NCTA. NJIT public because this is my public key that I just generated. I don't need any extension or anything like that. I'm going to save a private key that I will keep and I will call that and that's going to have a PPK extension. I'll call that NCTA NJIT private. So I will be saving that so I got the private key and public key so I'm done with putty key generator at this moment I am shutting it down now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go to putty uh, but in fact before I go to putty I'll uh, start the uh, image uh, uh, launch the image in uh, AWS so I'm gonna sign into the console um, I use my username and password once I log in, I'm going to see an image and a portal that has all those different elements. Uh, based on when you launch the portal, you're going to see different pieces. Uh, I will go to EC2, Elastic Compute Cloud, or I call it Elastic Compute Times 2. Um, we see that there is a key pair. I will be destroying or deleting that key pair so that there is a clean. Um, uh, there is no key pair at this moment okay so I am importing in this particular case because I have built a key already using putty gen I will be importing the key pair a uh, key which is the public key remember not the private key I would have to be importing the public key and I open it up Oops, sorry for that I am going to uh, or double click it it you can see this is my key okay I import it and it got imported into Amazon now I would have to build a security group which I have built already that security group says NCTA uh, why don't we do these things I'm going to remove this security group and we build one more time i'm going to call it ncta njit 0001 this is for our our class uh, i'm going to add few rules i'll add ssh and i'll come from anywhere i'll add rdp which is for windows um, the rules that I'm adding is to access. So sometimes we use, uh, most of the time we use SSH for Linux. We use RDP for Windows. We would HTTP and HTTPS. We use those 
for virtual appliances a lot of time we need to access those things so i am those are my inbound rules that i have created ncta njit 001 so at this moment i'll go to my instances or ec2 dashboard either one is fine and i'm going to launch an instance i'll launch an amazon linux ami i will pick m3 medium because t2 is virtual private cloud it really doesn't matter which one you pick then i'll go to configure instance it's fine looks good add storage looks good i'm not adding additional storage i'm not adding any more tags i go to configure security groups and instead of by default it creates a new group i'm not going to do that i'll be using one that i have created which gives me the benefit of um rdp sorry which give, gives me the benefit of four ports i have open uh ssh port 22 http port 80 https port 443 rdp port 3389 and i'm going to review this once it looks good to me what i am going to do i'll launch it I am going to create that NCT NJIT public key that I have exported or imported into AWS, exported from my laptop. I'll acknowledge and I'll start launching the uh, image. So, uh, or the instance, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to see that instance. It's coming up. I'll see this is the one coming up. I have recently terminated two instances. But this is the instance that's coming up and this is the public uh, DNS address either here or this DNS address or this public IP address any one of those I can use to launch so let's use the DNS address I'm right mouse click I co I'm copying I'm gonna go to party at this moment the username is ec2-user for that particular type of instance. When I need to go to, I need to go to SSH, I need to go to auth, I need to browse. And this is my private key because it's looking for the PPK, NCT NJIT private. I'm going to open it up. So now that I am pointing to my private key, I am going to try to. I'm going to make sure that it's running. Looks like this thing is running. Status check is initializing. Let's let's see what happens. It says, "Okay, do you like to put that key next time you uh, log in, you want to remember it?" I would say, "Yeah, sure." Boom, I mean, I am actually inside. You can do PWD, you're going to see that home-ec2 user if you can you want to see what are the files there is no files in this one so i'm inside it didn't ask me for any username or password because i have logged in using a key pair where i have built a key pair using PuttyGen. i left or secured my private key in my laptop and i have uploaded my public key into amazon and when i launch that instance i have embedded that public key into the instance and I launched it. I am thinking this is going to be good for you guys to test it out. So go for it. I think you it'll be, you have a lot of fun. And in fact, in reality, you would possibly use this mechanism to log into any cloud images. So try it out. Good luck, everybody. And speak to you later.